honestly, when I think about the fact that I'm a comedian now, and people are always asking me like, oh, were you funny growing up? Why did you become a comedian? Like no little Asian American girl was told she should be a comedian. But when I think back to how my mom saw the world and how she would always share her observations with me, I realized, oh, my mom is savage and she 100% taught me how to tweet. Hi, I'm Jenny Yang. I'm a comedian, writer, actor, and host. I was born in Taiwan and I moved to Southern California when I was five years old. I had two older brothers and my mom and dad, and we were just figuring out how to be American, y'all. When I was a senior in high school, I got my first job ever at this very cool clothing store at the mall. I was so proud because I was finally gonna be able to make money for myself. When you walk into the store, the cologne smells really strong and everything's kind of dark tables and rows of every color polo you can think of and piles and piles of expensive jeans. It's an assault on your senses, like smells and sights. It's like things everywhere. And it is like a cave of clothing. I was so proud of working at this store. I was like, man, I just need to like invite my family to come by because that's what you do, right? You like invite your whole family. I mean, we're Asians, so we roll deep. Like my brothers, my mom, my dad, they all showed up one day to my store and just started to poke around. I was a little nervous, but very proud. Nervous because everything at the store was way too expensive. I know for a fact that my dad, the moment he walked in, he was just flipping open all of the price tags just to know what he was dealing with. And he was the first person to come up to me and be like, These are like thick wool socks. Yeah, my dad didn't understand the value of thick wool sock, I guess. My brothers and I probably had like a weird sibling rivalry, so they didn't say much. They just kind of looked around and went, uh, cool. My mom is a garment worker. We barely bought new clothes. I was definitely very aware and sensitive to like, ooh, I wonder what my mom's gonna think because she's the one who sews clothes all day. Whenever we go shopping, she would be the one to use her like discerning eye to look at a piece of clothing. She's very judgmental about clothing because of her work. So I was watching her. I was like, mom, what do you think? And so she kind of walked up to this pile of perfectly crisply folded denim jeans. And then she like poked at it. It was just like, how much are these? And I opened the price tag and it was $99. She's like, oh my God, these jeans are $99? Are you kidding me? This is the moment I will never forget because she looks at this pair of jeans that has a bunch of distressed holes in them. And she just said, my whole world crashed upon me <laughs> because when I think about that, I was like, wait, that's right. Holes are not good. Why would we pay so much money for holes? And in my heart, in that moment, I was like really disappointed because I really wanted my mom to love what I was doing. And for her to like roast these jeans that I was selling felt a little bit of a personal attack. So like my face got hot and I was just like, oh, uh, well, you know, this is just the style. You know, that's just how it is. Like, this is cool, okay? This is like, this is cool, this is a good brand. Like, that means nothing to my mom. I don't know. She probably then continued to look around and judge everything. But she had a point. My mom didn't have a lot of like freedom or power in the world because she didn't drive and didn't speak English. But when I was with her, she would just be like nonstop speaking in Chinese, just commenting on things and commenting on people when they're right in front of us because she just assumes they don't understand Chinese. Like, hey, you can. Like, no shame. <laughs> she made me who I am. I don't think my family really understood how cool my first job was, but now as a comedian, I think they've come around to understanding the value of what I'm doing. I get to make people laugh, but at the core of it, I get to like tell stories about people like me and the people that I care about. I know, I think my family's proud of me now. At least they told me this, so that's good. <laughs>